When young people finish high school, that often means they have to leave extracurriculars like sports behind. And that major lifestyle change and can cause a little bit of a crisis of identity as they adapt to the huge life change. That's something my guest, Janine Charon, knows all too well. <laughs> Janine Charon is a mindset and resiliency development coach for competitive athletes as well as a public speaker, and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, I'm it's so excited so to be here. It's so great to have you here. Okay, so Janine, as I understand it, you played hockey at the NCAA level. Yes, uh, University of New Hampshire. Okay, yep. and then, Done, after after university. So I went on to play in the National Women's Hockey League okay. for a bit, and then um, backpacked around Europe for a bit, and life took on its other course. But yes, that yeah. was my playing career. You had to adjust, yes. right? And what was that like for you? Was it difficult? Well, a lot of my work is around transitions. Mm -hmm. And for me, um, I recognize sometimes when I was playing at the University of New Hampshire, some people were stressed and, and yeah. I could see them in their head a lot more, but I, I was always this happy-go-lucky person. Okay. So it didn't really hit me till after when you kind of are like, everything's predetermined for you as an athlete, right? Your schedules are totally. set. You're basically told when to do everything and you're lucky enough to just get to show up and play the game you love, right? Yeah, and then, and then that switch happens. So what you've done is you've recognized that Folks go through things, uh, young people go through things when they go from that highly active lifestyle to something completely different and devoid of all of that organized sports. Yeah. What have you done to help uh, these athletes transition into the regular world, if you will? <laughs> yeah, so I actually created my own playbook, um, mm -hmm. which I use with athletes. A lot of the times, um, there's a moment of surrender that happens when you're going through any type of transition. and. That's probably the toughest part for athletes. Our identity is so wrapped around our sport and our identity as that athlete. But sports, the biggest message that I want any athlete to know is your sport is what you do. It's not who you okay. are. And so I really help them dive into who they are so that they can surrender to this new redirection in their life, whether it be um, due to unforeseen circumstances, injury, or something in life that happens yeah. um, that can force them to just have to take a moment and yeah. I mean I had a lot of transitions I went through yep. my playing career I went through divorce I went through bankruptcy and then I just mm. went through breast cancer so I've had a lot of pivotal Change. moments Change. and what I've noticed um, as an athlete I muscled my way through until mm -hmm. about 40 years old okay. breast cancer forced me to really surrender rest and reflect and that's where the magic happened by surrendering, not fighting through it, but just sort of being in it and yep. allowing it mm -hmm. really why do you think that so many athletes do suffer and, and have a difficult time. What's, we what's train that all about? from the neck down. Mm. And what we're seeing, we are seeing a shift, which is amazing. Like if you see on um, Prime Time with Deion Sanders and, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and his, yeah. his documentary, it's all about mindset. And I think as um, coaches, we're training the athlete's body mm -hmm. and we need to focus more on the, the mindset because yeah. life is gonna happen and you're gonna have unforeseen circumstances, but if we can teach that resiliency at a young yeah. age and if we can teach you that you are not your sport, there's so much more to who you so are. You, yeah. So uh, in terms of, so some examples, um, helping kids find other interests. What are you really good at? What is your gift that you can give to the world? Yes, you're an amazing athlete, but eventually sports yeah. are going to stop. And excuse me, Miss Athlete herself, I did some research. Hello. Uh, you know. I literally have your bio in here. It's, oh, it's really? It's a long rap sheet. Yeah, exactly. Oh. So you're we're amazing. talking. We're talking yes. the same language and, here. Th th yeah. Did you experience your own transition? Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, but the, the I was very fortunate. So I went from high profile, high performance, running on track in front of 50,000 people, all that pressure yep. which I thrived on. And then I went into TV which was totally new and yep. I was like, what's going on? And then that fed that need yes. for like, whoa, high stress. Yes. I needed that, I needed, if I didn't have it, I'm not really and sure what I would have done. And that was your benefit. That's it, that it really, really helped me. So, and I've yeah. heard that from different athletes and that's why I say transitions happen at different periods. So for yeah. me it was breast cancer. Yeah. But I, I still noticed over time, like identified as the hockey player, and I would introduce myself as the hockey yeah, player. Which, when yeah. I look back, I'm like, Ugh. or when I had a fitness studio, I right. would say I'm the owner of Inside Out Studio Bar, and that's total seeking of external validation. I get it. I get it. So when we help athletes get to know themselves, which is my What's playbook. Yeah. yeah so you this got is the a playbook, playbook here, and it's all about we digging into like who yeah. they are as an athlete, what they love, all these things. Really because hitting the different points. What else do you have? Okay, here? so yeah. this is the best way when I talk to athletes and I'm coaching them. Yeah, I have a full can. Which camera? I'm looking over here. Uh, <laughs> over here. <laughs> let's go here. So I have a full can and I have an, an empty can. Okay. This is our mindset. So mm. someone who's very resilient and mentally tough, 
life happens, you can't squeeze the can. Mm. If you're weak, if you're empty here, then it just goes like that. Life crushes you, right? Yeah, right. So when we teach children tools, and, and I use tools, so like for example, mm -hmm. like I always have my, my nickname's Tiger. So these are always on. I love that. Um, whatever it takes to inspire you to show up for yourself. Is that even like looking at it, like a yes. reminder? Yep, totally. Yeah. Even this, um, my friend Amanda, who is the owner of this business, Worthy Wands, and actually I brought you one. This is a gift oh, for you. Thank you. The necklace that I'm wearing, it says Worthy. I always give them out when I speak. Yep. And a lot of the work that I do is we as humans suffer from, we don't believe in ourselves. Yep. Action mm. happens from belief of self, um, self-trust, self-leadership is the focus of everything. Mm -hmm. Because when the cheering stops mm -hmm. and you're not getting all the external validation, we need to be able to be our biggest cheerleader. And if you don't believe in yourself, who yeah. is, who's going to believe in yourself, yeah. right? So that's where the mindset work is. So journaling has been, been a huge factor of my growth. Um, meditation. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, especially as athletes, mm -hmm. when I went through breast cancer, I couldn't. I couldn't work out anymore. Yep. I was literally forced to sit with myself. That's why you had to surrender. Yep. Exactly. And hence the breast cancer. This is why I always have a fan. I set myself up for success because I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> there you go. Can I get some of that? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so if folks want to know more about this and take part in yeah. the Mindset and Resiliency yep. program, how can they do that? Yeah, well, I mean, I have my website, mm -hmm. Um My cell phone, it's all over social media. It's no, it's, there's no secret. You can reach me anywhere. Um, and it's really important to scheduling, like life after sports. Yeah. I brought my phone because we have a smartphone. My husband's always like, Janine, I'm, I'm, I'm archaic. I'm pen to paper. So oh, really good. But blocking your time in yeah. a calendar is really important because you're used to so much structure. Like you need to put in, this is when I'm working out. Yeah. This is when I'm doing this I and need that. To do that. I need to do that as and, well. And a yeah. Fitbit. This has been my best oh, friend yeah. because I'm competitive. So I'm like, ah. Oh, I need to do two steps. In. I've only got a few steps and I need 3,000 more. So you yeah. go. So these are different ways where you can compete with yourself. You can learn to yeah. um, dig in. You've got your external validation, there you go. your reminders. I really am glad that you came on and I'm so glad to hear how you have adapted. You have taken adversity and turned it in to a, a benefit using up here. Janine Charon, author and speaker. Once again, if we want some more information, we can go to- Not an author yet. Oh, a writer. <laughs> a writer, a writer. This is, I am looking I like to write a book. I like how you said that yet. That means a book is coming. Yes, there there is. you go. And the website again? JanineCharon.com. But my you. phone, uh, social media. Thank you. Anywhere. Thank you for and coming on. I think on. if you are struggling, just know that you're not alone. Like I have no. interviews on my YouTube with NHL not players. alone. And they're all sharing their experiences. You're absolutely so. right. Thank yeah. you, Janine. Yeah, no problem.